Hi, my name is Grace Shalom Hopkins, and welcome to another episode of Spin Weekly. Today, it is a mystery spin. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe I should do that for Halloween, a mystery spin. Okay, so this is what we're spinning, and I'm going to show it to you before we even get started so you are even more confused about what it is because that's the kind of awesome and uh, sneaky sneaky I am. So this fiber was sent to me by a lovely Instagram friend. This is the fiber that she sent me. This is the fiber she sent me and I mixed it with some Firestar, which I believe is from Feathertail Fiber Arts. So I've left Whitney, the original friend who sent this, her Instagram down below. She's also a knitwear designer and she is so cool. Definitely worth a follow, especially for you geeky people out there. Um, she's, she's very, very delightfully fibery and geeky and just nice. Great combination. I might be a little biased because that's that's I am geeky and fiber too, but let's not talk about that. This one <laughs> is from my fiber share package um, that I talked about last week. So I have links to the unboxing of that and also the Feathertail Fiber Arts webpage and Instagram and all all the links. You know everything is always linked down below. Just just look down below if you have questions. So this is a sneaky mystery fiber. Um, I don't think you're gonna be able to guess what it is. However, I will give you a hint. It is affordable and vegan. Now we know that Firestar is vegan. It's a pulled nylon and it is pretty darn affordable and it takes dye like magic, as you can see. So, I'm just gonna let you uh, percinate, percinate? percolate slash ruminate, percolate on <laughs> what this fiber is as I go through the spin. Now, if you are a member of the Patreon family, you will have the voiceover video for this. And if not, you can either just enjoy this music video and see all the visual goodness, or you can hop down to the links down below and join the Patreon family. I recently revamped the Patreon perk levels to be more accommodating to international people and also people who wanted more access to my information and my recipe cards. So I added a $2 perk level. So there's $1 and that gets you all of the past videos plus all of the videos that are voiceover for this month that you paid for and any subsequent months that you pay a dollar for. So that's only $12 a year, which is really affordable. <laughs> and you would join 117 other $1 perk peeps. I added a $2 perk, which is the exact same, but it's double the love. So if you have just a little bit extra love to give me in the peso form, there's an option for you. So that's only $24 a year, which is also pretty darn affordable. Next up, I added a $10 perk level in replacement of the $30 swag package. Now the swag package was really awesome, but because I had international free shipping, a lot of international people jumped on, but customs was killing people and shipping was difficult for me. So overall, it was a wonderful year, a little bit more than a year, like a year and six months. And I've decided to replace it with a $10 level, which is both more affordable and the perk is more accessible to anyone because it is two of my digital recipe cards per month. So every month that you're signed up, you get two of my digital recipe cards, plus all of the voiceovers, plus the back library of all of the past voiceover videos. So that's a pretty sweet deal. For $15, which is our last perk level, you get the recipe cards, the archive, all of the upcoming voiceover videos, plus an unlimited question and answer thread on the Patreon. So you can ask me as many questions as you want on any topic within reason. Just go for it and I will answer them throughout the month. Some of them might be turned into videos. I reserve the right to answer them and then also make a video of it. <laughs> 
But so if you have been thinking about becoming a Patreon family member, um, but weren't really sure which place fit you, go ahead and check it, check it out. Check out a look. Check out a look from the library and you will find that our selection has changed. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get on to the spin.
Okay, so do you have any guesses on what it is yet? I will say it drafts like absolute butter, and it is probably the smoothest yarn. Wow. Just tossed it. The smoothest yarn I have ever spun in my entire life. Most uniform, least irregular. I mean, I have only awe and joy to express regarding the uniformity of this thing. Um, yeah, every time I look at it, I think, what the heck, did I spin this thing? It looks machine spun. I am so amazed, like unsettled slightly. <laughs> um, and it drafted so thin on its own. I did not force that. That is exactly what it wanted. Um, even though there were some bits that were kind of rumply with my no tool prep, it just it just drafted like butter. I, what can I say? It was just smooth and magical. The fire star distributed evenly. The slight variation in the fiber itself turned out so gorgeous. I mean, what? Holy macaroni. So I did want to say I used a no tool prep on purpose to go with the ultra affordability theme here. So you could make this entire yarn with arguably an ounce of pre-dyed fiber. If you wanted to be super affordable in the short term, it would be cheaper to buy an ounce of pre-dyed Firestar than if you bought like a roll of it, maybe a pound and some dyes. But, you know, say lovey. If you're doing fiber work, you probably already have some dyes. And another cool way to get add-ins is to harvest them from other fibers. So if you have bats, um, even if you're dedicated, you can pick out the add-ins from a combed top because usually they're kind of in veins. You can just pull it out. Anyway, there's lots of different ways you can get sparkly sparkly that's pretty cheap. And I did um, the no tool prep to demonstrate how it's done because I get questions about that fairly frequently. And also um, to encourage people who have a lot of fancy tools to try a no tool prep occasionally because it kind of stretches your imagination. Anytime you're doing something differently or new, it's good scope for the imagination. I also am realizing that I'm kind of like shrinking down in my chair there. <laughs> um, slowly, I got shorter and shorter. This chair uh, is old, and so the bottom part kind of like migrates. Anyway, so now that I've spoken how much I enjoyed and kind of my philosophy behind the spin, is it time for the big reveal? Hit pause and comment down below what you think it is. Remember, it's super affordable and it's vegan. Okay, do you have your guess in the comments or in your mind? Are you are you picturing it? All right, dun dun dun. dun. It's a hundred percent acrylic jumbo yarn from freaking Hobby Lobby. I was gonna say Michaels. <laughs> it is the. Yarn B Sandpiper Shores Show Stopper Yarn, and you get 10 ounces for $6.99. Like what? If you used a coupon right now, there's a 40% off one item coupon right there, and then it would be like almost three bucks. What, for 10 ounces? And actually, it is to be completely accurate. 50% acrylic, 35% polyamide, and 15% wool. So I guess I lied. There is a little bit of wool in there. I wasn't sure the exact version of this yarn, so I had to go Google it, and there is a tiny bit of wool. So I might have unintentionally been slightly misleading, but mm, basically it feels pretty much just like acrylic to me. I cannot... I cannot feel the wool if it is wool, which it clearly is. It is the most overprocessed wool I've ever felt in my life because it's not bad. It just doesn't feel like wool. So here is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see in regular form, obviously. 
it looks like this. But I have put links to the different kinds down below um, from Joann's and Hobby Lobby and Michael's. They all have similar ones and they're in the jumbo category. And you can just go to your local store and pick one up and it's going to look like this. It's just a little combed top situation and they're used for arm knitting. So that's what you can look for. If you're lost, you can say, I'm looking for the um, loosely drafted, I guess, <laughs> oh, maybe just say arm knitting section. Where is your jumbo arm knitting section? And jumbo in America, at least, is the little number seven. You know, they have the yarn with the label and the seven. That's the jumbo. So there you go. That's what it is, and I am just really impressed <laughs> with how easy that was. So there's lots of different kinds. There's some like luxury ones with bamboo. There's tons of different varieties. So um, search around. There's plenty of ones on Etsy as well. I may actually go ahead and give some more options outside of those big box stores um, in the links down below, just to give you a good idea, especially for international people who might not have one of those around. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that spin. I hope you were surprised at what it was, even though it turned out to have 15% of wool. Um, <laughs> But if you did like it, leave me a comment down below. Have you ever experimented with spinning yarns or like yarns, not yarns? You know what I mean. <laughs> if you ever tried that, actually, um, as a side note, my first yarn that I ever spun was some bulky acrylic that I unspun and I put the different plies on little cardboard bobbins that I made and tied it to the back of a kitchen chair and slowly unraveled it. And then my father walked in uh, a couple of days into this uh, tedious project. <laughs> and he's like, don't you make devices for doing that sort of thing? And that's when I looked up spinning wheel. And being a good history and fashion geek, I already kind of knew how it worked, but not exactly. And I was 16 and that was the beginning of an adventure. <laughs> so... In an interesting way, I've done this before, but I didn't actually get to spinning that part. I quickly moved to uh, wool and other fibers. But anyway, if you have any experience with that, leave it in the comment section down below. If you liked this video, hit the like button. And if you want to support the show, go ahead and check out my books. I have links in the shop below, both the physical and the digital. If you want to join the Patreon family, there are links down below. This yarn was spun on my Queen Bee Spinolution wheel and Ideal Spinolution wheels. If you're interested in checking out any of the ones that you have had your eye on from the polywog all the way up to the bees go ahead and check out my link down below all of that helps fund the show and just our general life <laughs> um, at groceries i'm looking at you gluten-free groceries being so expensive <laughs> so i will see you next time and thank you for joining me in another episode bye